Hello and welcome. Welcome to another Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. It is a book I wrote when after I healed myself from cancer, naturally. So today I wanted to talk about self-healing because I think there are a lot of misconceptions about what self-healing actually is. I know I had them when I first started out, when I found myself facing cancer. I, I knew that I did not wanna go with the medical model. I didn't have any interest whatsoever in chemo or radiation or long-term pharmaceuticals. None of that seemed logical to me. So I decided that I was going to learn how to heal myself. So of course, what's the first thing I did? Well, I kind of started looking online about like self-healing. I wanted to find somebody who had healed themselves. I wanted to understand what self-healing was all about. You know, is it diet? Is it exercise? Is it, you know, what is, what is this self-healing thing? And of course I didn't really find anything. So I, found that I had to start relying on myself. So rule number one of self-healing, you have to rely on yourself because ultimately all of the answers are already inside. <laughs> so the next part, I started down that like, oh, let me try to change my diet routine. And it took me about I don't know, two seconds. And I figured out that that was not what was going to happen. That was not what was going to heal my body. And so I realized that I needed to start looking in other directions. And so I started to do a lot of self inquiry. Okay. Rule number two, you got to look inside. You got to discern for yourself what is true and what is not and what is actually going on. So self-inquiry, I started asking, what do I actually know about this situation? If there were no such thing as doctors on this planet and I was left to my own devices, what would I do? So that's how I proceeded under that assumption, meaning I decided to assume that nobody else was going to give me the answers and that I was going to be able to find the answers myself. So I decided to sit in the question, what do I need to know about this in order for it to change? And what I realized was that my mental and emotional state were directly affecting my physical health. Because my mental and emotional state at the time was pretty darn crappy. <laughs> I was pretty much suicidal. I couldn't make heads or tails of this whole life thing. All of these rules that we have to follow. You gotta climb your way to the corporate ladder. You gotta earn a living. You gotta make money. You got you know, all of this stuff didn't really make any sense to me. So I was struggling. I was struggling with having money. I was struggling with earning a living. I was struggling with all of that. And I was also struggling with a lot of just internal trauma, a lot of rejection, a lot of um, self-doubt, criticism, all kinds of things. My my inner environment, my thought space was not a pleasant place to be. And I realized that if my thought space was a far more pleasant place to be, that being would be far more pleasant. <laughs> so I decided to start learning about what's actually going on. And I realized after some time that our thought space it's can it's a non-physical space our bodies are the physical space the thought space is non-physical our mental bodies our emotional bodies our light body our 
whole auric field is non-physical. But there are far, there's far more of us than meets the eye. The only thing we see when we look in the mirror is we see the physical body. We don't see the non-physical self. And it is in the non-physical where everything starts and ends. It is in our thought space that when our thoughts are filled with trauma and drama and fear and doubt and guilt and shame and worry and blame and anger and rage and resentment. All of these things start eating away at us from the inside. Our physical bodies will show us where we are being eaten away on the inside. The physical body is not the problem. The physical body is doing exactly what it is supposed to do. It is saying, hey, are you going to take care of your thought space? Are you going to clear up these wounds? Are you going to start paying attention to what's going on on your inside? This is what the body's job is. The body is intelligent. The body knows exactly what it is doing in every minute of every day. Our bodies are not malfunctioning. Our bodies are pointing us in the direction that we need to look for our healing to restore our happiness we are each created in the image and likeness of the creator of god itself we are created from unconditional love from joy from excitement from enthusiasm these are our natural states of being. This is why when we're in a state of excitement and enthusiasm, curiosity, anticipation, you know, all kinds of really cool vibes. <laughs> These nice emotions, they feel good because they're in alignment with who we are. Anger, rage, resentment, guilt, shame, blame, doubt, fear, worry, anxiety. These are not in alignment with who we are. These are what cause the dis-ease. Our bodies are not being attacked by diseases. They are pointing us directly at the cause site of the dis-ease. Do we have continual self-devaluation, you know, thoughts of self-devaluation? I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not this, that, or that. I'm not, you know, I'm not enough. I'm too much. You know, something wrong with me. Those thoughts affect our bones and joints and our muscular skeletal system. Fear of death is reflected in our lungs. Stink conflicts, like stinky situations, like, ah, this really stinks. That's nasal passages things. Like every part of our body is pointing to a different part of our psyche. Self-healing. It is about healing our self. It's not about healing the body. The body already knows how to heal itself. Healing the body is not our job. Healing ourselves. The mental body, the emotional body, the two year the inner two year old, the inner six year old, the inner thirteen year old, the inner the in, all of our inner parts, all of our inner children 
who have been wounded, who have been traumatized, who are still in stasis, who are still frozen inside, who are still running the show from our fears. Those are what need healing. The physical body is alerting us to the fact that we are carrying some trauma. Or they're alerting us to, hey, good job. You just healed that. Now I can heal myself. This is what our bodies do all the time. Our bodies are not the problem, but we have been taught that our bodies are the problem. So until we start to see differently, until we start to look in a different place for our healing, we will continue to suffer and we will continue to pay thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon trillions upon billions upon gazillions of dollars to pharmaceutical companies and others looking to be fixed when in fact the body is not broken. There's nothing wrong with the body. We are multi-dimensional beings. We are souls, first and foremost, non-physical beings who have incarnated into physical bodies. We are both physical and non-physical. We have been taught to overlook the non-physical. We've been told if it's not physical, it's not real. Well, this is not true. So in order to heal ourselves, we have to start understanding what self-healing actually is because it's not about trying to heal the body. the body. The body already knows how to do that itself. It's built right into your physical body systems. Self-healing, it's a process of self-discovery. It's a process of self-empowerment. It's a process of inquiring inside looking for the answers inside. And when we start to look for the answers inside and we start relying on ourselves, not on other people to fix us, when we start to rely on ourselves, we start to rely on God, source, universe itself, the soul, who we are is directly interconnected with all that is everything in the entire universe. When we start to inquire inside, we start to tune into our soul. We start to tune into the mind of God itself. And when we source our wis wisdom from there, we source a completely different set of wisdom than we can can with our rational minds the minds that we have been programmed with we have been brainwashed into only looking in this direction or that direction don't look over there don't look at that non-physical stuff self-healing is a process of self-empowerment it is about healing the self, all aspects of self, healing the inner child, healing the emotional traumas, healing the mental traumas, healing the memories of the past, clearing that all out of our system so we can start making sense of our lives, so we can start taking our power back. So we can start to remember that we are grand beings of light. We are creators. We have the ability to create universes. But we can only do that when we are standing in our full power. And in that full power, we are reconnected with God's source itself. It becomes a beautiful co-creation. We start to dance with God itself. 
and we start to restore the sanctity of life. We start to realize how sacred all of life is. What a sacred opportunity we have here. And we start treating our bodies as sacred. We start treating ourselves as sacred. And we stop believing the anti-life rhetoric that is prevalent throughout the society. And we stop blaming our dear sweet bodies for our problems. The body is not the problem. The traumas, the wounds that we have received from this anti-life society is the problem. We have to start seeing what's actually happening. Self-healing, it is no mystery. It is quite logical. But we have to be willing to look and see what it is. We have to be willing to look and see our own power. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. It's really not that difficult, but we have to look in a different place. We can't keep looking toward the medical model as a means of healing. It doesn't work. We live in probably the sickest society we've ever lived in. If the medical model actually worked, we'd be super healthy. So let's take a look at self-healing. Let's start empowering ourselves. Let's start moving beyond the disease mindset. And let's start actually creating the health and the vitality that we truly desire. I hope this was helpful. If you would like more information, please find me at connectingyoutoyou.com. Thanks so much. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week because you're a creator being. You can do this. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>